Well, if you install Windows 10 over your old operating system, Windows 8 or Windows 7, and you're experiencing some sort of issues like the download speeds or maybe game uh, frame rates and things like that, you need to go out and check your manufacturer of your system or motherboard or whatever to see if they have new Windows 10 drivers for it. The fact of it is, is that it tries to download the current drivers, but they're not always included. And manufacturers are releasing patches and new updates all the time. So first, we're going to go out to the device manager and take a look at the device that I'm working with. So here we are, we're going to go up and bring up the device manager, which gives you a status of all the devices on your system. We're going to click there. And first of all, you should have no alerts here, no places where it shows not loaded. Uh, should be fine. But anyways, if we wanted to go look at some of the things, uh, let's say, um, well, let's say the Bluetooth driver, there's a Realtek uh, one there. Uh, if we click on it, and we right click and say properties and you'll see that it tells you who manufactures and its manufacturer is Realtek so the actual manufacturer wrote this driver and as you can see it has a date here of the driver it's 5-18-2015 so it was released just before Windows 10 so that's why it was probably installed along with Windows 10 and gave you the best driver that's uh, possible at the time now you can go out there and do the uh, update driver uh, and try and find to uh, see if there's a better driver out for it. This almost always fails if you try and search outside of the, you know, your PC on the internet to see if there's a newer one. Uh, we're going to visit the actual websites here shortly. So let's uh, let's go ahead and cancel out of the or f finish up here with the Realtek, and we'll take a look at a different device driver. Uh, yeah, let's close this up, and we're going to go out to the motherboard and go out to the driver for your hard drives. And here's the uh, a driver for the uh, chipset that runs the SATA connection to your hard drives. Uh, it may not be SATA on yours, but it, mainly it's the same thing. Uh, we go out here and say, oh, look, uh, 826 2011 uh, written by uh, Intel. Well, let's go take a look and see if we find a new one. And we go out here and, oh, newest driver up to date. Now, I can, I'm going to go here and do a few more, but I'm going to cut that off real quick here because we can check this all day long and not find anything new on these other devices as well. But this is my Lenovo laptop, and it's a laptop tablet. So instead of doing this for each individual one, I'm going to go out to the Lenovo website and go check out there for new drivers. Now, the truth be told, your laptop or any other pre-built device probably has a program out there nowadays that goes out and checks for you to make sure you get the latest updates automatically. They integrate with Windows very well. But in case it's don't have it installed or uninstalled or you're on a different system and you know which manufacturer you need to go to, you just go out to their website. In this case, on this one, it's Lenovo. It could be Toshiba, it could be HP, it could be Dell. Now here, we're going to go in. I'm typing the model here, and I'll automatically find the model that I'm using. But there's also about the Detect My Product, and they have a thing called Service Bridge, which, again, each manufacturer will be different. It allows you to download a piece of software that will check for you. But I'm going to go out there to find my exact laptop. This is the first Yoga that was out. Uh, Yoga 13, at least, uh, came out with Windows 8. Now, as I clicked on the download page, you'll see the first thing here. It has some Windows 8 right here. But there's a Windows 10. What's important to note is that uh, it's for, there's the download button, by the way. But what's important to note on these is the date that they're available. Um, while this one's downloading here, uh, there's the date on this one is 7-6-2015. So it could be included in Windows. It may not be. Uh, Windows 10, that is. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and download this to install it. Now, on Lenovo site, you can do this individually, or they have a nice little feature that allows you to download them all and to create a subdirectory for each one, and you can run them separately. So you can go ahead and uh, do that for all of them. Now, here's the result of downloading them separately. You get this confusing mass of, of drivers uh, that have these uh, names. You don't know if you've downloaded them. Sometimes I've downloaded them twice. And so how do you know which ones are which? Well, I'm using Lenovo's uh, website function to download them all as a package and to put them in a shopping cart. Now here, uh, if we go down and you see the list here of downloads, uh, I can filter it 
by Windows 10 64-bit and then it'll refresh. I go down here and it says, oh look, here's the ones that have Windows 10. Some of them are for multiple versions of Windows, but the release dates are all a 7-6 kind of date. Uh, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add them to my shopping cart. Now this differs for every different system manufacturer. They may not have this feature, but in any case, if I look down here and see all these that are available to me, rather than doing them separately on the Lenovo site, I'm just going to click on the little yellow plus sign and that's going to add them to my downloads. So uh, let me go back up to the top here and start clicking on all these Windows 10 uh, device downloads. So if I go down here and click on that one and that one, continue on here and finish that up and get those all marked as I want to get every one of them. And done. So now I want to download them all. So here we are in the shopping uh, thing, all set up and everything. It says, okay, let's let's go for it. So if we go down to the bottom of the list and we say, um, I want to go ahead and install uh, all these, I just go down to the bottom, go to my download list, and there's a, a button to go ahead and start to download. Uh, let me get down there. There we are. So if we click on that and we go to the uh, obligatory information about oh, warning us what information they collect and all that and blah 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 terms and conditions blah 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 and we come down here and we say no I agree and now it's going out and installing it so uh, we go here and it's going to do one of them each at a time and the first one is the LSB setup we say run and it'll run that install while it's downloading the other ones in the background by the way so I'm going to go ahead and say install on this particular one. Now I'm not going to go through each one of these. But the easiest part about it is, is that if it's already installed and Windows said there's a later date already installed, just say no and go on to the next one. So here we are at the uh, end of the list of all the ones to download and it's showing, I skipped to the end here, and it's showing them all ready to uh, uh, be downloaded and there's the second of 10 being uh, downloaded. So let's go to let's go to when it's finished all that. And while this is uh, different for every manufacturer, what's cool about Lenovo's new one, which new download system, which is way better than what it used to be with Windows 8, is that instead of getting that confusing list like this, you get a very nice list now in your downloads. And as you can see here, uh, the new list is very much organized and uses real words to describe each one of them. So all I have to do is go into one of these directories and run the installation for that particular uh, driver. Now the first one I'm going to install is the chipset driver, which is the main driver for the motherboard. There's also the management one here. I'm going to install those two first because they set up all the I.O. ports and all that stuff first uh, before you do all the rest of the stuff. So if I click on uh, this chipset driver, there it is, and I click on it to run it, and it's going to come up here, and there it is. Say next, do the agreement, and next, and there we go, say OK, and the folder already exists and it's probably from an earlier installation, let's say yes, and we're going to go down here to where it says install, and click on that, and it'll run the installation. So it does a quick unpacking of the driver installation, and it says go ahead and do that, install it now. So I click on it. And it goes out and analyzes your system and it checks the drivers that are there versus the one that you're trying to install and tells you whether or not it actually uh, needs to be updated or not. So here we are, it comes up and it says uh, driver software, say yes, all that stuff. And it's going to go through this uh, particular installation in this little window here. And it says, oh, here's this, looks here, what version number, installing driver, uh, thermal control, all this stuff, continue here. And I need to reset it because it's a main uh, driver installation. So it didn't give me any warnings about newer. So I'm probably getting a new driver here. Now we're looking at it after I reboot it here. And I'm going to create a directory here called completed so I can drag these uh, down in there as I complete each one so I know which ones I've finished. Now here I am. I'm going to the next one I talked about, which is the... Uh, let me move this one up to the completed folder first. I'll drop it in there, come over here to the management engine interface, click on that, 
and we'll start to install this particular driver. Uh, much like the last one, it goes out, it's an Intel based driver, and says, oh, let's go ahead and get the setup. This is just the setup to get it started. And we're going to go ahead and uh, click on the next and accept the agreement. Say next again. And it says, oh, already in exists, and that's fine. And we're going to say install. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and install this particular driver. So it's going to go out there, check the system out, see what kind of driver you have, version you have already. Well, first it's going to unpack it first. But once it does that, it's going to go out there and say, oh, this is the version that's on your system. And uh, is it needed to be replaced? So here we go. goes in here, brings up the interface, say, oh, yes, uh, accept all that. And it's going to go in here and do the same exact thing it did before trying to replace the drivers. There's a the version number. Doing some registry keys. And installing the service. And it'll finish here in a second. Well, maybe two seconds. And there we go. Boom. Creating the package running it, starting the services, and some little more stuff, and go ahead and install all this stuff, quite a bit here, obviously, and next to continue, and did all these things here, tells you what it did, so click next to continue. No warning to reboot, even with all that stuff. So it mustn't have been an exclusive file. So we're going to go on to the next one. Now, I'm not going to go through them all. I mean, here I'm going to go ahead and do them. But I'm going to cut to the end to where they're all installed. They're all moved. I moved them all to my completed. And we're going to go back to the device manager. So here I am with my files. And I've moved them all. I'm done with the, the last one here, the touchpad driver. And they're all in the completed. I know that I've downloaded all these. And I've, there they are. And that's everything I've run all the setups. Some installed uh, new drivers. Some said it was already a newer one installed. So now I'm going to go back to the manage my computer again. And just to make sure that there's no problems, that nothing uh, actually was detrimental to the system, I want to take a look and make sure that there's no errors uh, anywhere in Device Manager. So once the Device Manager comes up, uh, we should see the list of devices uh, without any problems uh, highlighted. So here we are back in the device manager. Uh, we go click on here. It'll check out the system. And we should see no error messages again. We should see a nice clean installation with no drivers missing. Uh, no little triangles with yellow triangles flagging a problem. And sure enough, everything looks fine. Should be the new latest drivers. So here's the way to go out there and manually go to your manufacturer, system manufacturer's website and download the latest drivers and hopefully uh, they have them for your model of computer. And what's important to remember here is that older systems will not be, the, the manufacturer will not create new drivers for you because they're too old. There's no, uh, there's no money in it for them basically. They want to sell new systems. So they're not going to update Windows 10 drivers for a Windows 7 system for example. Uh, you're going to be using the generic Microsoft ones for the life of your system. Uh, which mean, may mean de degraded performance. Uh, all in the, of course, they want you to upgrade to a newer system, and it may be worthwhile to do so. So there you have it. That's how to check your system manufacturer's website. Uh, you may have to go out to your individual card or motherboard website to do so. But if it's very old, there's a good likelihood that you're going to run off the generic Windows 10 drivers. Uh, but anyways, here's a way to go out and manually check that, and hopefully it'll help you run your Windows 10 system that much better. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.